This is Idaho News 6. Welcome back, everyone. Idaho is home to lots of cool plants, and thanks to a local couple, you don't have to go far to find them. Idaho News 6 reporter Natasha Williams takes us through Orton Botanical Gardens in tonight's Made in Idaho. You might just miss it if you're passing through it, but this garden is a unique paradise for plant lovers. Create a, a, a garden where people could see what you could do with plants that need very little irrigation. After a trip to Arizona, the Ortons decided to do something a little different with their backyard. Thought, well, maybe there's a better way to do it so all that water isn't used. So we thought, well, let's, let's do plants in the garden that reflect the area, uh, you know, the desert areas. The idea, fueled by their green thumbs, grew until it became the Orton Botanical Garden. It's a hobby that got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, the couple decided they wanted to share what they'd learned with others. They decided to start teaching others about xeric, or drought-tolerant plants, through their nonprofit public garden. There are a lot of Idaho native plants that are used to being watered uh, uh, very rarely or sparingly, sparingly. The couple gives tours, but they've set up their garden specifically so you can learn on your own time too. So we have literally hundreds of little signs in the garden telling people where, what the sign, what the plants are. The garden mostly runs on donations, but they do sell plants to help keep it going. The couple says having a community interested in their work motivates them. The thing that gives us a lot of satisfaction is the interest in the garden, how many people want to come, and how many people um, roam the garden and then tell us that they're uh, amazed <laughs> that they really like it. <laughs> the garden is open on Fridays and Saturdays for anybody who'd like to come by and take a look, but they do ask that you maintain a six foot social distance. In Twin Falls, Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.